back. That's Lawrence. No more room in hell. The dead will walk here. What's up, Hubber Fiends? It's your boy, Ricky Grimes. I am back with my two brothers. It feels good to be back. Oh, Lord have mercy. I'm gonna take a sip of beer because we all cheer for big bottles of beer. What's up, my brothers? Mm. Oh, nothing better than a cold beer, horror movies, and Joe and JR. What's up, my brothers? JR, I'm gonna start with you. El Jefe, the boss. The man, the myth, the legend. What's up, bro? Parlez-vous français? Oui, oui, me, no, no. Maybe this shirt means a lot. Ooh. Ooh. Let's see oh. if these creepy crawlers left me in my seat or maybe take a walk. <laughs> <laughs> and Joe, the psychologist, the man. I gotta apologize, Joe. We've been, we've been dragging you through the ringer as of late with all of your phobias. I mean, we had frogs. Now we got spiders again. Hey, How are you, my brother? Don't How'd you forget, survive? Hey, um, I was all right, not really, but you know. There was I, had a to, I, had a, I had to. I had to. I had to send you a message to make sure you you, you survived. <laughs> you're okay. Well, and it's like not just that, but you. I still had frogs and snakes in here. I'm like Jesus fucking Christ! I saw that. Like, when I saw it, I was like, oh, go no. through. I mean, like, oh my God. What we will be discussing tonight is the 2023 film Infested, directed by Sebastian Venisek, written by Florent Bernard and Sebastian Venisek. The film stars Theo Kristen as Caleb, Lisa Naraco as Manon, Sophia Lasafre as Lila, Jerome Neal as Matthews, and Finnegan Oldfield as Jordi. Residents of a rundown French apartment building battle against an army of deadly, rapidly reproducing spiders. Let's cut the bullshit. Let's get right to it. When I first saw this movie, I was like, oh my god, Joe! Please, I mean, I had anxiety watching this, and I'll get into my anxieties, but Joe, I can't wait to hear your first impressions. What did you think, man? So, I, it was not at all what I was thinking I was going to see. <laughs> it's, I thought it was just going to be, like, a random, you know, infestation in, you know, uh, in, the, in the tenement, basically. And then you get the start and first of all, I'm like, why is my, I can't, I don't understand what they're saying. So I put like my um, subtitles on and I didn't know what these people were saying at all. And what are they looking for? And then they show up the hole and the fucking spider jumps at him. I was like, oh shit, we got jumpers. <laughs> this is not going to be good. Like, so wait right a minute, off the hold bat, on, time out. You could put the subtitles on for those guys in the beginning. Cause I tried it and it didn't, it didn't work. It didn't no, work. it don't. Okay. Okay. It, so that's what was, I'm saying. it didn't work. So I was which, worried. I think it made it for the better, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I, I dug that. Yeah. Um, But you know, it, him, the spider jumping at him and, and oh, him God. trying to fight it off. It didn't matter because it stung him. And I was like, oh. Oh, hold on, it stung him. I thought it went inside of him. No, it went inside him. I thought it went inside him. Inside him? Well, either way. Even, dude, that's worse. No, no, no. It don't matter. Imagine thing, a spider thing, inside you, stinging you from the inside. Oh, jeez. But is that just that? When it jumped out of the hole, it almost appeared like the spider knocked him down. Not like, you know, jumped and he fell down. It literally, you saw him go up. And then, like, I guess, you know, as he's going in. And then his buddy fucking takes that machete, and I'm like, all right, we got this kind of movie. Well, what I liked about this movie, though, is it reminded me of another film, a 2011 film called Attack the Block. Now, if you haven't seen Attack the Block, this film is very similar to it when it introduces these characters. John Boyega. Yeah, yeah. that you're not, you're not supposed to like. They basically, they're, they're street kids who just don't give a crap about authority. So right off the bat, is building up with characters you're not supposed to like because of their behavior. Now, the spiders were, were pretty cool, and I liked the, the the whole black market twist to it because I was gonna wonder how they got over there in the first place if they're in the freaking desert, some in another country grabbing these spiders. But I always like the film that intertwines. You have the horror element coming up, crawling slowly behind it, while it's building up these characters. And let's be honest, who'd like Caleb, really? We all thought he was a freaking a-hole. 
Caleb? In, Caleb in the beginning? Yeah. yeah, Caleb in the beginning was in the middle yes. of the a-hole. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? yeah. So uh, yep. even midway Except through the film, he didn't, he, but even when, midway through the film, you didn't, you, you weren't, he was a main character that you didn't care for if he lived or died as a main character because of his, the way he is. But I like the whole, you know, setup. I mean, and not for nothing, the guy who was, I think, an ex-cop who the whole time he thought he was doing heroin with a good twist to that, too, because <laughs> here's, a, here's a kid that that's doing, yeah, he's doing exotic, you know, exotic, you know, insects, really. And then you got a cop thinking he's doing heroin the whole time. And they just happened to live in the same building. But it, it was because I attached it to Tag the Block, the way it was, you know, formulated. I kind of liked it because it didn't rush too much into the horror aspect of it. The minute that the hole appeared in the box, you knew shit was about to <laughs> about to go down, you know. And hey, you know what a tangle web Caleb weaved in this one. Don't go into this film expecting logic. Definitely suspend your disbelief. Put that shit in that and follow the way in, in that compartment. If you do that, I think you're gonna have a good time with it. Um, you mentioned that you didn't uh, like the Caleb character. It's crazy because I love this character because at first you mentioned you, I thought he was some kind of thug, you know, trying to just, you know, rob people and, and scam people and stuff like that. That's how they kind of painted him, especially when he saw the spider. He's like, oh, I, I want that. Thinking, why, why would he want to get that? Why? Why do you want that? And then when he goes home and he goes into his room. The guy has a vibranium. He's got an aquarium. He's got a terranium. He's got all the lights, the heaters. He's got everything. I'm, I'm big into that. That's why I related to this guy. I'm like, holy shit. He's authentic. And then they showed the little picture when he's a young with his buddy the, with the reptile zoo behind him. So he cares about the animals. Now, I don't know why he got these rare species, why he would want to do that. Black market. It's a, I, well, but he doesn't he, sell them, though. He don't sell no, the animals. He, he takes he's care a collector. of them. He's a collector. Oh, see, I, thought that, I thought that he was also probably selling Oh, them. no, no. That's what I'm saying. Uh, right. Even the sneakers. He's a flipper. See, I come from the collecting world. He doesn't steal the sneakers. He buys them, right? But then he sells them for a higher price because there's people willing to pay him. All, and then the fact that when he, he had that box that had the water on it, but the sneakers yeah, are fine, yeah. he but he didn't want to sell it because he was like, no, no, no. I, I, dude, if I buy a figure and it's brand new, pristine, but the box is fucked up, I don't want it. So yeah. you know, so when, I was like, damn, okay. And then, you know, when he helped the, the, um, the Asian lady do the cleaning. And, and Sal. Yeah, it makes yes. He, yeah. And he was like he was like telling the other kids stop bullying or stop being troublesome. You know, he was respect their elders, don't smoke around, you know. And then the way he took care of his sister and, and, and he was getting fed up because she didn't care and he didn't want to leave the building because of the residents in there. Like he was he was not a bad guy at all to at least to me. I didn't see him in that in that sense. He did have flaws, but again, that's what I like about him because the world him and his sister live in. This building, it's a low rent income housing building. I love the design of it. Yes, and, and it like, felt real. Cool Growing aspect. up, I grew. I mean, I was around buildings and people like that, and I and he just felt like he he's he's not a perfect character, and I really did appreciate that. And the way he wasn't selfish about helping others, he did everything he could, everything he could, except for with my man Jordy. But I think he, he probably could have saved him if I'm being honest. But again, yeah. again, it's 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 a human um decision. If I try and help him, I may die. And if I die, I can't protect anyone else, especially my sister. So it, it's a balance. So yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. I like that. Well, um, and before, so we don't go into it. Yeah, yeah. Go so ahead. the thing is. What they were trying to also point out is that Jordy, Lila, I mean, even Manon, all of them have jobs. Like they're they're trying to do something, and that's what they were trying to tell him. He was going to continue with his hustle. That's what made his character not want to grow, making him a negative. You, however, respect the hustle because he's still bringing the money in. So it, it's a character that you know it, he's doing it his way. But all of his friends have left this building. Only person left is his sister. Well, no, and Matisse. But Matisse was becoming an MMA fighter. I so love every, that. That's you know what I'm saying. <laughs> every, all, all the other characters had a goal and a future, and he was the only one that wanted to stay stuck. However, he wanted to stay stuck because he was helping out the people 
that helped his family out when his mom got sick and took care of them. Yeah. And when you live in a tenement apartment, you know, like Bridgeport, the Greens, you got you had a whole bunch of them. Those people become family. They help each other out. So I will say. And, and don't forget, he also didn't want to leave because his the memories of his mother. Yeah. I mean, he Again, it it doesn't. His flaws don't come, in my opinion, from a negative space. It all comes trauma. From, from yeah, it's 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 trauma. it's what it's what builds his his character. And, and what's cool about it, he's not one dimensional. As you can see, we all got different opinions about. Because I kept going back guy. and forth. I I like like I there were times in the movie yeah. like I would be like probably in Jr. Shoes. I'm like, and see what y'all uh, what y'all yeah, missing yeah. is the point that this is. This movie has something that's missing in a lot of horror films. Character building. Yeah. Because it's more the simple fact is they rush to the horror aspects of the film and they lose the characters in the process. This movie took its time developing these characters before the shit really hit the fan. I mean, not for nothing. I love the Chinese lady, the the cleaner. She was freaking awesome. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, One thing I will say, a film like this is very easily, it's very easy for the the writer and directors, producers to go down the route of making it campy and and comedy. The only comedy in this film was the cleaning lady. Yes. Yes, Michelle. She was not fucking around with those bugs. She's the only, and she never spoke a word. Fuck it. Let's get into it. These spiders, they reproduce very quickly and they grow big. I know, Joe. I'm not. I'm not. I'll let you guys actually this hold part. on for this. We're gonna be talking about the spiders. Please give me a second. Oh, if you were to take spiders and put some kind of mutation into them and sprinkle a little bit, almost like rabies, <laughs> at the same time, it's now. Don't get me wrong. The the, the one thing I sat there wonder so much is like. Quick are these fuckers spawning because the time lapse was just so fast. I'm like, holy crap. That's why I said throw logic out the window. Yes. And and what I like, they throw that at first. And it it took you a while to be like, how how is it that there's webs growing in these in the in in these hallways and nobody's been paying attention at the time? And there's I'm sorry, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because they're they're going so fast. But what I like about it is once I mean, once Jordy threw in that whole thing about the defense mechanisms of these spiders in particular, that every time they lay eggs, the cocoon, they come out bigger. So so he laid the whole thing, all right, this is going to get even crazier. Now, I got to say, maybe I'm the only one that thought this, but I kind of want Lila to just get killed in the shower scene oh because... No, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, that's a natural reaction, but no. she was driving me crazy. Oh, let me I interject mean... for one second. Just <laughs> oh, I'll make God. it quick. That character annoyed the fuck out of me. But because it didn't bother me is because what you just said. It is. If I'm with my sister, for example, they're, that's, that's, they're going to be screaming the entire mm-hmm. fucking time. That's, a, that's what gave it that realism, that's even that's though it's so fucking she, obnoxious. And she was a cop. She was a she, cop. A, a municipal, well, a, a municipal cop. Municipal so it cop, just meant yeah. more low. Either way, she yeah. was a cop. But she was, she, she was, knew law. Yeah, she law. But she was yeah. still freaking the fuck out. Thank you, Jr. Yeah, thank yeah. you, Jr. You, Jr. You hit it on the head with that one. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm like, the whole time is one spider. Like, get the fuck out the shower. Just get out the shower. Just run out. It just run out. She's like making it, and then she's yelling and stuff. And it's like when what I like about it is when the spiders appear, it was not forced appearance. It was well timed. It was well done, and it was done in scenes that you weren't expecting for them to show up. Now, I forgot the name of the guy who bought the sneakers. When oh, uh, um, was it Tank? NT. 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 Yeah, because he got mad because everybody was calling him NT. Nobody can pronounce his his whole name, but it, yeah. NT is his is the his his initials. Yeah, well, I, thought NT, I thought NT. I thought NT was the name of the sneakers, though. Like, no, his no. name is. I can't. I don't remember, but it, it, it the first name starts with that's all he would wear or NT. Yeah, and people will right, call him that. And Caleb name. was like, nobody calls you that. He goes, yeah, that's what people call me. I'm not a sneakerhead, so I don't know anything yeah. about sneakers. I don't know. Yeah, that's what because it was like nobody kills, nobody calls you. Yeah, everybody, everybody calls that dude. I know Maggie. That's all. That's it. But yeah, I mean, you know, the, 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 you when that first spider disappeared, you wondered when it was going to turn up. So the whole time you're sitting there wondering, when exactly is this thing going to turn up? Now, you know, I didn't mind the spiders. I mean, once they got 
huge. I still didn't mind them because I thought it was pretty cool. Because yeah, same. Because well, they did said they kept talking about evolution. They kept. Well, yeah, that, that, that was kept, their defense they mechanism. Saying, Darwin they had evolution. Increasing. They had to keep increasing in size in order to propel its its own, you know, its, its predators. Yeah, because they're predators and they saw a human as the apex, and they needed to. They need to continue to keep going, yeah, keep going. Yeah, yeah. And I got to tell you that this one scene in particular with these spiders is the one where they walk into the apartment with the woman sit, sitting on the couch. Oh my god! And she's like, yeah, that's the neighbor. That's the neighbor that had the, the Claudia. Door, I think the it is Claudia. Yeah. Claudia. I think it is Claudia. Yeah. Now that for me was one of the it, best scenes because they took their time with the whole spiders coming up. I like when Jr. mentioned. Lila in the in the shower. How come she doesn't run? If that giant spider was there, I think Joe would stay in the fucking. <laughs> he would be Lila. Would, would, nah, would you would run out screaming or screaming would you stay? Me. Okay, I would be screaming for like, one of you guys to come in there and help me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I literally doing yard work. There was one that did a big web. I almost walked into it and I went and called him so he can get it. It was probably like this big. I don't give a fuck. It's a spider. It might jump at me and it's going to sting me. <laughs> well, look at for you. I don't think there's any poisonous spiders in Florida. Are there? I don't know. It's Florida. Do you know what goes on in Florida? Nobody does. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joe. Spiders. Talk to me, my brother, because there's a. Mm, I know there's a whole slew of spiders in this one. I think you're going to touch upon something. I don't want to bring it up because I know you're going to talk about it. So let's hear it, brother. There was literally one scene that I yelled, what the fuck? When he stepped on the spider. There it is. <laughs> I would be dead. Dead, dead, dead. I mean, <laughs> like, we're done. No, I'm out. And obviously you couldn't get out. Um, And real quick, before I talk about the spiders, there was, I, I'm a one, probably one of the bigger ones out of the three of us that can't stand social commentaries in movies. It's, but when it's done in a way that it's not in your face, when you guys that was that was an intent. It was it was an intent on showing that, but they didn't want to put it so much in your face, but did it in a way for the audience to pick up on it. How the minorities are treated in a tenement, you know. Yeah, it, it, yeah, but it wasn't. But it, it wasn't like it's not as if all of them were sitting there, you know, like complaining about it or it's being it, it wasn't painted that way so i actually had no problem with the social commentary and the director didn't he just he, he put it in there but he just wanted you to see it it wasn't, it wasn't the focus. it wasn't yes. exactly and it, that's it's, how it's done that's how it's done that's how it's done as far as the spiders dude oh my god that sounds that they make the, the skitterings and actually the worst part is I left the subtitles on. So even though you got the, and it, guys, if you don't know, the movie is on uh, AMC Plus or Shutter, but I left it on. So when it went through the skittering, it literally goes skittering. Yeah, like, yeah. You, and I'm sitting there like, oh God, they're coming. So like, it kind of didn't like, because it would start low, but when it would put skittering, it was so low that you knew they were coming. So it actually, elevated your anxiety because i know it's coming because the tv just said skittering so they're about to walk on here somewhere but jr said the way they were done how scenes were you know they're all talking all of a sudden it's like doo -doo, doo -doo. <laughs> you're like did nobody just see that big spider on the wall i mean it was awesome um yes the last big giant spider <laughs> for as you said suspend reality however Sorry, bros. I would not have stayed around to even try. I would have left you guys. If that big ass spider would have been there, I would have fucking figured out a way for me to get the fuck out of there. <laughs> you two would have been my sacrificial well, no, lamb. To be because... fair, to be fair, if you would have ran out, you would have probably got killed by the other spiders. Me and Jr. would have stood, and that spider. What did he do? He walked away. He, he did. Him... Well, that's what's after ah, he realized. He told him that. Yeah, no, I would have just taken off. Y'all could have figured out how to get away from that big ass spider. But yeah, still, I just there was no more gas in the car, so you could run to the car and I would have took off. One of my other favorite mm -hmm. scenes with the spiders is when. Uh, Matisse, he's he got bitten, so he knows he's dead. 
and you know he says his goodbye to Caleb. That was another great scene, though. It's you know throwing in mushiness in a horror movie is a little. It could go either way, but it was seemed really genuine, and he sacrificed himself so he can knock that door open so the spiders can come. Let me ask you something. You just mentioned something right now. I just lit a light bulb in my head. It, it, didn't that remind you of almost like a zombie film? He he got stung. Oh no, I'm dead. I'm, yeah. and, and especially when yeah. the the yeah. other the other character I forgot his name, but the older gentleman who came out of his room with the fucking with yeah. the glass like this. Like, no, <laughs> he's trying back, to capture back, all of them. <laughs> and, and, and so so it, it makes me think that when you get stung, like what the f- what happens to you? Like, well, the it, basically. It, I guess it, because spiders come out of you apparently. Yeah, so it impregnates, besides, it, it impregnates you. But oh, when they the police are all standing there, you know, it, it's dark with their lights and their guns. And again, you're seeing skittering. You're Total like, oh. wreck inspired by the way with the locking them in, quarantine right. them and I thought a wreck quarantine yeah. Oh, oh yeah, no. I, yeah. It literally, it, it's funny because I did. I was waiting. I thought Jr. was gonna bring that up. To be honest with you, I was gonna bring it up. I was gonna see if because I was watching it. I'm like, it has a bit of wreck. I dug that though. I dug it. it, it, it yeah. And I did it too. Increased the claustrophobia for me because yeah. they're trapped now. You know, they are. <laughs> um, but they're all standing there, and all of a sudden the spiders just come, and it's utter chaos. And I fucking loved it. Zao, so, so, when she went into that crawl space and she saw all the spiders and she had the double spray <laughs> cans going. You saw that big ass spider creeping up from the shadows behind her very slowly. You're like, oh no, turn around, turn around. And they lingered for, on that shot for quite a few, you know, I would say almost a minute kind of. And all of a sudden it finally, she turns and it lunges at her and she falls like, man, that's a great scene. It ain't sure. One thing about the movie, it's it's not a gore story. When no. people, they don't go over the top with the kills, but you don't need to in this film. No. And it's very rare you hear me saying that. But stuff like that builds the tension and the anxiety. This movie did, a, it did that a lot, especially in the beginning where they would build up tension, right? And then all of a sudden, they'll pull it back. But then they'll instantly rise that tension right back up so it's, it's like a roller coaster right like oh my god and for me like seeing like especially caleb's room with all the his little all his animals and i'm thinking they're all dead they're gonna die they're all oh. dead oh my god you Wait. know me i don't like animals dying and then the, the the fucking dog oh jesus christ when i saw the dog and the our heroes walk by it and the dog's on the floor and you can see it you can see it looking up like that dog is sick oh no very he subtle very subtle, and then a few scenes later, you see what happens yeah. when the spider just because it ate the spider before, yeah. The, yeah. and the burst out of the poor dog, bro. And I like I like the way they handled it. But I want to bring something up real quick because this scene led to this montage, and I want to highlight the soundtrack to this film because very rarely I would say this, but it's a hip hop infused soundtrack for the most part. Not when they're getting chased because when it's dramatic the tension builds you got the risers you got the downshifts you got all you got the, you got all that but there's moments especially like i said this 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 montage where it's got this this hip-hop soundtrack and it's it's, it's all in french but it, it builds to it when you see the dog then you see the father holding his son and then it, and, and then You're it goes everyone and you, it's seen the whole the whole apartment yeah. building claudia sitting in the couch with the spiders all over her fucking face the and guy holding the, his friend. Yes, it, it, exactly. I don't know why, but that fucking worked for me. It, it, and the it. soundtrack here, I want to just give a shout out to because the way they use hip hop and infused it with a horror um soundscape. Oh man, great job on that front. And as far as the spiders, to me, man, uh, you guys already said everything I had to say. When the when Jordy smashed the spider, then it turned into all the fucking little ass spiders, and he ran off. I'm like, Joe, Joe, you're not gonna make it. I mean, and, and I, I'm not kidding with you. Like, literally, I was sitting there, he did it, and I went, What the fuck? It feels like a French film, you, yeah. just by yeah. just the way it's <laughs> shot, and the characters, and just it's moody, and it's dark, and it's not much comedy in it. I'm like, Damn, who did this film? If I found out, if this is this director, I don't know who he is, um, Sebastian. 
this is his first fucking film, like major film. Okay. This is his first movie. Nice, so, good job, bro. Yeah, I think <laughs> good job. Yeah. Um, because Joe, it did, like you said, it had that French feel, but without the French gore. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta, I'm gonna throw this to you, Joe, because I know we talked about this already, but I want you to elaborate a little bit more. Then I'll ask Gr the same. <laughs> because what the fuck would you have done? Let's say, forget it. Let's forget your Caleb, but you're locked in that building. Let's say JR is Caleb, right? And you're his best friend. You're in that situation with JR. You're in your spiders everywhere. You're claustrophobic. You're arachnophobic. You got the, whatever that spider phobia is, just snake phobia. Is. <laughs> <laughs> you, every phobia imaginable is in this. And for me, the, the death of animals, yeah, oh God, I, I, I almost had a heart attack myself. I knew the dog was toast, but the fact that they took forever to fucking kill the dog just drove me nuts. Anyway, what would you have done, Joe? I would have died. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I would have. You would have been an early died. victim. Um, no, I would have tried to fight, but unfortunately, I don't know. Like, I, I, it's in the the fight or flight situations. I, yeah. I fear, I fear that my, um, like, I don't. Not even fight or flight. Frozen would just kick in. <laughs> like, I would put a new F in there. I'd fucking freeze. Would you be drinking? Um, You'd be drinking if you could? No, he'd be drunk. During this? Yeah. He'd be drunk. No, I would not. <laughs> no? I would want to have all my senses. You, you won't smoke shit. a bowl? Well, I'm going to have to smoke because I have to clear <laughs> myself. <laughs> fucking Caleb was smoking that fucking... Yeah, 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 that no, 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 no alcohol. <laughs> no alcohol. We're going to have to smoke See, so that way my brain... I'm the opposite. I would drink. Here. I would not smoke. I could never smoke during something yeah, no. like this, man. I'll be I, thinking I, fucking I, I think... them spiders are coming out of my dick, bro. I couldn't do <laughs> it. I, I think better when I smoke. When I drink, it, it, then... As, yeah, no, I, I... I would... Honestly, I would try to... I would try to get out of there. I mean, any fucking so you way would be. I know how. Now, um, would I go around the apartment complex and find everybody? No, no, I'm going to be honest with you. My fight or so, flight is just going to be for myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will text you and let you know that there is a infestation of spiders that are mutating. Get the fuck out. But, but forget that for one point, though. So you, you're missing a point here. There's nowhere to go because you're locked in. I quarantined. would find a way. Like yeah, there's you gotta go outside, be, you know, you're gonna they, get you're gonna get popped in the grill piece, son. <laughs> well, they didn't though. So I mean, some of the people decided to stay in. Which I would say when they broke, when they got how... through, when they got through, all they did was get arrested. They didn't get shot. I did think that it was gonna do the scene like um the sadness, you know, when she went out to the out there and she's you know and she ended up getting shot at the end when Caleb was at the end in the sunlight. I went. I'm like, oh no, so he survived. So I thought they were going to pull a scene him getting out and, you know, getting shot. But I, I would try to get out of there. Unfortunately, I, like, the problem is going to have to deal with that I'm going to have to deal with spiders. And I mentally might, at some point, my brain might just short circuit itself and just sit there and just die. See, you're excited <laughs> about the end. Me. What I thought about when that building came down, like, oh, there goes Caleb's animals. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's do... JR, my boy. All right. I, I like JR because JR gets really detailed with his answers. So what would you have done, bro? Well, I would have started burning each each apartment one at a time, forcing the motherfuckers to move. And then I would have found somewhere close to a window because you figure once the whole building is in flames... That's right. Because they're scared of light. If, yeah, right? If, if you're by a window, you jump out that motherfucker window, try to get to a first floor window and shit, burn that motherfucker down because they'll have nowhere to run, most likely the garage or the basement, which would give you time to definitely find an exit. I would take my chances with a bullet outside and I'm stinging the inside. So, Jared, real quick, what, what, what was your thoughts when, when your boy, uh, um, Matthews, that's his name, right? Yeah. Uh, Joe, how you say his name in French? You say it real good. Mati. 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 Well, did you laugh when he started doing MMA moves on the, on the cops? <laughs> he yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. He put him in the arm lock. He put him in the arm lock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck, dude? No, but I'll tell you one thing. That um, garage scene reminded me more of aliens with the face huggers going nuts. That's a fucking, yeah. Because I see that. you didn't, you you saw glimpses of the spiders attacking the people, so it gave you that aliens feel to it. 
Oh, aliens. Aliens. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah now it makes sense to me. The fake Huggers are going crazy. That gave me more of a feel for that. So for me, I, the, the film took a lot of the great horror films that we love. Yeah. Put them together. I mean, I, I still go back to the same thing. Like the joke, like you guys saying, it, it took wreck, put the spider, gave you the alien feel to it. I'm still gonna say it gave you the attack the block feel I to it. I was gonna bring that up in case you because forget. it gave you all these these different movies that we like for such a great reason. And the only thing that together. pissed me off on my teeth was when he threw when he had the the, the, the cocktail to the fire, he rolled it on the floor. I would have threw that shit in the fucking ceiling, man. Because the, they're gonna go on the ceiling. The fire's gonna come down. Spread, it's gonna spread, spread quicker. I'm yeah. like, what the fuck? What? Yeah. I'm like, first of all, was it too bright on that one? No, half of these people, I would have basically. All right, you guys go that way. I'm going. going well, and I would have thought of at least finding something aerosol. I mean, listen, you're, your light, you're, you're lighting, you're lighting cigarettes and joints. So get something aerosol. Your lighter. Psh, an aerosol is an, oh. a weapon. By the way, this movie, Chekhov's gun, the fireworks, when Caleb confiscated them, they spent mm-hmm. so much time on that fucking mm-hmm. bag in the beginning. It's just that came back. to play later on. <laughs> <It came back. laughs> the only one funny CGI scene, I got I to shout this out, because uh, when I see him, like, oh, was when the building blew up in the little fake smoke. JR, I'm going to throw to you, my brother. Closing thoughts. You know you know the deal. I don't, I don't even got to explain it, bro. Let's go. All right, so for me, what I like about this movie is it does something that a lot of horror is missing these days is character building. I mean, we, we rush for the gore, we rush for the excitement of the kills, but the character building in this film, not only with the main characters, but the supporting cast. Now, you guys were mentioned, Rick, you mentioned about the hip hop music playing through that whole scene where they were showing everybody. It made every death feel somber. And you felt every death because it was sad. sad, sad. And all the neighbors were, that's for the one, the, the cop dude, all the neighbors in this facility this building you you could relate to you've had neighbors like this. so the guy accusing him of heroin and shit was he the landlord no. he was like a cop he used to be a cop or something. Oh, well, oh so he was, i thought he was the the, the no, super no, he, was just, he was just an asshole oh, oh, oh fuck no, him he man. was just the guy who used to be a cop had the authority and still think he had the authority in this building but it's just like you you fell for these characters you enjoy these characters you know me and rick in the opening you know see you know monologue over here you know we talked about you know the caleb character but the fact that it created a character where you could be persuaded whichever way, you know, whether you liked them or hated them. His relationship, you know, with his sister was present in this film. It wasn't in your face. It was present at the moments it needed to be. Great which is, writing, by the way. Yes, which is another oh, yeah, good thing yeah. about storytelling. Mm-hmm. And I feel like if more horror movies take their time in developing certain characters, because now if there's a sequel with Kayla, with... um. You know, the sister, uh, what's the name, uh, Manon, you're going to be more interested in seeing, all right, he had, he had these survivors, what's going to happen in the sequel with them? Lila survived, gonna... right? Lila survived. Uh, uh, yeah, Lila, yeah, Lila, yeah, Lila. She was, yeah, Lila, she was the, Manon, she was the yeah. getaway car. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean, the, the spiders, I think she very well done. Hot, honestly. Oh, I mean, I, I, think <laughs> yeah, I think the two girls are very attractive. But for me, it's like the spiders were well done. It was, um... <laughs> It was um more beer. <laughs> <laughs> How is it? The, the CGI didn't distract you because it they looked so no. so well done. The sequences with the spires they came out when they needed to. They weren't forced to come out. Other films would have had them all over the place. Oh, yeah. It's just that the film took its time to develop the tension to when we get the final scene in the garage, it's all out chaos. And the fact that Matisse was like, fuck it, I'm running through that door. <laughs> and I'm guys, wow. I love you guys. Do your best to escape. I'm fucking everybody up. Ran through yep. the door. And not for nothing, that scene where you're sitting there waiting for the spiders to come out. The fact that they took their time. The fact that they did this little skittering just yeah. to let you know they were slowly coming. When they came out, they came out so fast. I will give this movie a four and a half. I fucking love this movie. As, as much as I, I am terrified of spiders, I love this movie. It was fun through and through. Um, and I don't mean fun in it. It's just that it, it was you're, you're entertained. You're getting a good story, character development. Um, you know, 
my only little thing was Manon, Manon's name, because um, that's who uh, was called upon in the movie The Craft. When yeah. they, so that was my only little thing because I'm like, well, you got Manon here. Let her use her powers and take these things down. I mean, I'm just joking on that. I the the, the movie it again it it I did, sometimes when you watch a movie and you are reading, you can sometimes be a little thrown off. I mean, I I sat there, I read, looked. The movie was just. Pretty well, much. I'm a subtitle master. I watch anime, so I'm a subtitle master. Like, well, I mean, I the thing is, like, I hate sometimes subtitles because you w- when you go read some, like for me, subtitles they should be put on. If there's something you're supposed to see, put the words after that, so that way you're not reading. All of a sudden, you look up and you miss the scene. You didn't get that with this movie, but the movie is entertaining through and through. Um, the social commentary on there because it's not thrown in your face. It's relatable especially with us, you know, from where we grew up and yeah, where we yeah. come from. Mm-hmm. We totally understand that. Um, all the characters were supposed to be characters you weren't supposed to like, but only you're not supposed to like if you don't understand where they're from. So if you're, you know where they're, if you come from where they are from, you can relate. I'm so close to one and giving it a five for your personal score. I'm actually going to give it a, I'm going to give this movie a 4.75 spider legs. There wasn't really any gore in this film. No, Everything no. was so, like, subtle. And that's what made it even worse, man. Like, holy shit. Even with the dog Maggie, like I said, the fact that they saw that one shot when the characters walk by, and it's real quick, you might miss it, the dog is in the foreground while the characters are in the background. And the dog is just laying down, looking up, breathing heavily. And you could tell it's kind of sick. If you guys ever owned animals, you could tell when your, your yeah. pet is sick. Uh, hello, Daisy. <laughs> yes, I know. I'm not saying you. I'm just oh. <laughs> the viewers. So when I caught that, I was like, oh, no. And it didn't. And it wasn't the next scene after that. It, it built to it. And then it created that nice montage, like GR said. And it just, it just, it gave it like that sadness. Even over that, that dark hip hop tempo. Great stuff, man. I just think the, that, to me, trumps everything in this movie and that's it made me invested so yeah man watch infested leave the logic behind don't expect that it's a nice fun thriller horror if you want to call it creature feature you can it's 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 great it's fun and it, it's an hour about 40 plus minutes but it goes by it goes by trust me it doesn't drag we, we say that they take all. their we say they take their time character development and character building but this film doesn't drag at all. So for that, highly recommended by Ricky Grimes and Joe and Joe. JR. JR. And well, <laughs> he's correcting me. <laughs> JR. Joe the Psychologist. All right, guys, let's get the fuck out of here. So Joe the Psychologist, tell us what we will be reviewing next week on the Three Corners Party. All right, so next week, the three of us are going to be back. It's going to be another Stephen King one. This is the year of horror anniversaries for some great movies, and we're going to wipe your palate away from that bad, bad Pet Cemetery movie that came out, The Bloodlines, and we're going to be discussing it's the 40th anniversary of Pet Cemetery. Hmm. So yes. that is our next episode. That's a classic. Oh, man. I, so I, I got to see the fucking no cat and fair. I got to see no the cat fair. and the kid get killed again. The two <laughs> no things fair. I hate in fucking movies. <laughs> that <laughs> is a great scene, though, when the little kid goes, no fair, no fair. Yeah, I, mean, I do feel bad when Herman Munster gets killed, too. But anyway, spoiler alert. If you haven't seen it, fuck you. I'm Watch Ricky it. Grimes, JR, Joe the Psychologist. Come back, drink beer, stay safe, stay healthy. Most of all, stay scared, horror fiends. See you in the next one.